What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. We are here to watch episode six of The Bear. Now I am loving this show. It's amazing. Every single episode has been amazing so far. Hasn't been a single episode I haven't enjoyed. Hasn't been a single minute I haven't enjoyed. I love every second of this show. I just want to keep watching it. Everything about it is amazing. You know what I mean? Shot direction, cinematography, dialogue, acting, music, color, everything is beautiful. I love the characters. I love Carmi. I love Sydney. I'm, I love Marcus. Marcus is a bro. Hate Richie. Fack is funny. Tina's still a hoe. I'm trying to remember the other people's names. Ebra. Is that one of his names? I think so. The, the brother that's straight off the boat. <laughs> He's funny. He's kind of whatever. Uh... The other dude who be sweeping and cleaning shit up. I forget his name. I mean, he's fine. He doesn't really do anything, which is is good, I suppose. I mean, I'd rather him not be in the way, I guess. So I'll take that. I like his sister a lot too. You know, Sugar. I like Pete. Uncle, you know, Cicero. He's cool too. So like, I'm loving this show. Love everything about it. Can't wait to watch this next episode. And we're just going to get right into it. In case you don't know, full reactions and early access up on Patreon. Link in the description. And without further ado, let's watch this episode. All right, so you guys want to hear the story or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So we're at Sirius, right? Which was the, the bar at the bottom of the board of the trade building, right? Sean Bernthal plays Michael? Bar in the lobby, right? The thing is... I love John Bernthal. I met John Bernthal. They lost their over and just get fucking hammered in this little fucking bar. Anyway, the name series was named after the goddess of agriculture. Sorry. And, um, fucking story. Right, someone's jealousy weren't invited, huh? Uh, I would not have gone. You would have fucking gone. Hey, Carmi, you got some Carmi. Yeah, I got you. I got some Carmi. Anyway, on top of the Bro, you see how much Carmi likes, like, looks up to his older brother? Do you see the eyes, man? Just the way he looks at him? Come on. It's adorable. Hear this fucking voice ring out. And the voice says, what are you doing? <laughs> right? And right in front of us, this guy, he turns around. Who was it? Bill Murray! What? Bill Murray! It's Bill, Bill, Bill Murray! Murray. Oh, Bill fucking Murray! He goes, give me your phone. Yeah. Yep. And then he goes... <laughs> Aww. Right? Aww. That was such a sad cut. I get it. Call me. I, I, I still got it. I believe it's you. It's still on my phone. I'm good. Really? Thank you. Damn, she's you not she's not really feeling Richie. You guys were at a bar at 6.45 in the morning? Yeah, but I'm... The, the whole point of it is... Yikes. 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 Damn, I never thought I'd feel bad for this motherfucker, but here we are. Take this green tape off before it gets to us. It takes five seconds. Cause once the soapy and our fingers are pruned, we can't fuck with this shit. Cool? Yes, yes. yes. Thank you for your time. Nice man, I like that. That was cute. Everybody said you were incredibly smart, you were incredibly talented. They also said you were incredibly impatient, incredibly green. Mm. Okay, so that's why my business couldn't cut it. That's why I'm here. That's, that's why you not what don't. I'm saying. So, no. so what are you saying? I'm saying give me a minute. Fair, yeah. That's fair. All that's real. I would like to hold on to that as long as I possibly can. Oh, no. Okay, there's something called the Internal Revenue Service, and they collect uh -huh. taxes for human beings. I know this, Natalie. Yeah, okay. and the people in this place, they haven't given that government organization anything in five years. Yikes. Who's uh, seizing your house, Shim? The IRS, rich. Tax shit. Yikes. 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 <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's a fuck you. Why the hell would he organize it like this? You know one thing I really do love? I really buy them as siblings, man. Army, Sugar, even the other little flashback to where we got to see Michael and them. Like, I really buy them as family. It's just so authentic. It's so real. I love it. But now... Every goddamn building is taller than the next one, and they all just look out at this chick with no face, and it's just. What the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? Fucking kidding me. Good? Yeah. Motherfuck! Everybody okay? What? The fuck is going on around here? What the hell was that? That's crazy. They got bulletproof glass. Damn. I mean, I get it's Chicago, but fuck. That was crazy. I was not expecting that. You okay? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, fuck, I don't even know anymore. Should we call the cops? No. 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 <laughs> Is there a name for that thing where oh, you're afraid of something good happening because you think something bad's going to happen? Anxiety? <laughs> Damn, chef! I still don't like Tina, man. After what she did before. Like, yeah, now she's cool and whatever, but I don't forgive her for what she did before. It was hella fucked up. I'll definitely loosen up the sauce. Just, you know, I don't understand. Chef, it's not ready yet. You understand? Yes, Chef. I understand. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Sydney's kind of a little bad at taking no as an answer, you know? Like, a little bratty sometimes. What's he about to find? Ah, a bottle of pills. Nice. I knew it was dumb to co-sign. FYI. I would have done the same thing. You want to fight? Please. <laughs> I just want things to be on solid ground. I, I, I want things to feel... Consistent. Yeah, consistent. That's totally reasonable. Appreciate you saying that. Um. <laughs> uh, that um was so like I don't know what to say now. Because I can't describe how I'm feeling. So to ask somebody else how they're feeling that just seems uh I don't know insane. I get that. I I get where Carm's coming from for sure. Cause you feel like if you don't know how to. Put it into words you feel like does anyone really know how to put how they feel into words but also everybody's always sucked up into their own shit you know i get it really? yeah. yeah right yeah 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 just uh sitting in this file labeled shit <laughs> nice guys oh, shit. oh my god Yo, what's going what on is happening out here cleaner than that Where's my gun? Any of you motherfuckers take my gun? Good lord. Kari! This is my fucking Oh no. What is, what is this? It's a bunch of old dudes. How are y'all doing gangster shit at the age of 55? Grow up. Everything's under control. Um, please enjoy your beefs. Focus on that. Uh, <laughs> Chicago, am I right? <laughs> Afternoon. Uh, Oh my god. We didn't take your gun, bro. Shit. Bro, that dude reminds me of you, okay, a mix you between know, Joey Diaz and the great Kali. Well. Alright, so we do this every week, yeah? Sandwiches, simple <laughs> conversation, no yelling, no, no smoking, where all the food is. You know what I mean. Alright? Okay. Okay. Good job, Sydney. Good job, Sydney. His handle. Good job, Sydney. I mean, that's probably a better way to handle it than walking out with a gun and then shooting it in the air, so I'll take that. Uh, Richie, but, yeah, I need to unregister. Like, just fucking tell Richie. the story. Just one second Richie. here. Yeah, one second. Richie, then, now. Yo, can you shut the fuck yo, up for a Richie. second? Outside. Outside. Now. Good lord. Okay, yeah. Damn it. I'm gonna throw some shit at you. Good lord, what is happening, man? It's good. Tina. They're kids, you know? She doesn't understand. She's a baby, you know? Walking around thinking that she can handle shit. This is a delicate fucking ecosystem! He's the only one that needs it to be delicate. Like, you're the only one that can't handle it. Everyone else is handling it fine. It's just him. You know what I mean? Brother, go home. Sleep it off. Do something. I'm gonna quit. Do it. Quit. At this point, I, I feel like you're really not that big of a help. Fuck it, get out of here. Now where you gonna go, Richie? Where you gonna go? Yeah, I mean, like, I get it though. Yeah, he is grieving on his best friend. I get it. And that's the real reason he doesn't want it to change because it feels like he's missing Michael. You know, it was Michael's place. This is how it ran when Michael was alive. 
if you change the entire place, it's like Michael is gone. I get it. But like, you know, you gotta move on, brother. Changing the restaurant does not change who Michael was or what he stood for, you know what I mean? You got the memories with him, that's good enough. I still can't believe it's fucking John Bernthal who <laughs> is Michael. I didn't see that coming. I love him so much. Oh, the cops. Where's he at right now? Oh, okay. Oh? Did he call the cops on them? Did he do it? No way. Oh, maybe he did. I don't know. Is that how it ends? Did he really do it? He might have. He might have. Maybe this is the wake-up call for him to get his shit together. I don't know. Another great episode, man. That one was really good. I really, really enjoyed that one. I mean, we got to see Michael for the first time. I love that. I love that. And I feel like, oh, man, John Bernthal. Oh, I just, I love John Bernthal. I love him so much. I really do. He's amazing in everything he is in. He's one of my favorite actors, one of my favorite people, honestly. And him as Michael is just such a good casting, I think, because he can play that kind of individual who has been through something, but you know their heart's in the right place. You know what I mean? And like, especially in that clip there, like you just really feel how much love is in that room and how close they all were and stuff. So like, John Bernthal as Michael is such a great casting. And yeah, when I heard his voice near the beginning of the season, I remember thinking to myself that it kind of sounded like that, but they only gave us like one sentence and it was quick. And it was quick, so I never really clocked it because they didn't give us enough to work with, but that's amazing. I love that. I really do. That whole scene of them together in the in the kitchen cooking, like that was beautiful. It really was. And like it it I can really feel that as well cuz like I I see a lot of similarities even in like my life to uh to that you know like with the with with how the siblings act to each other like even with me and my sister like i really see a lot of like how carm and sugar are together i see a lot of how me and my sister are together if i'm being honest with you my, my sister's older than me too and i'm not gonna say we both act like carm and sugar but like i don't know the dynamic is a lot the same i feel um there's a big thing there so like i relate a lot to that too and like just the way they all act together is fantastic like, I really, really love it. And even when they were cooking in that scene, like, my, my mom's side of the family is Italian, right? And so, like, I've had stuff like that where it really feels, it's so real right there. We're just, like, everybody's in the kitchen together, talking, yelling, screaming, shooting the shit while cooking. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I remember having stuff like that on that side of the family. So, like, I, I don't know. I relate to that a lot, really. Um, but, yeah, this episode was amazing. I mean, every episode's amazing, dude. But, like, I don't know. Richie, I just, it's hard like, it really is hard to, I don't know, both excuse his behavior, feel sorry for his behavior. You know what I mean? It's like, because it's sometimes I get it. You know, you have to remember he is grieving for his best friend. I understand. And he doesn't want the place to change because if it changes, it makes Michael's death more real, more permanent because he hasn't accepted that kind of fact yet, right? He misses his best friend. He misses what the place was when Michael was there, right? He misses all of that and changing how the restaurant is makes michael's death feel more permanent it makes it feel like we're forgetting about michael i understand that but like at a certain point you cannot excuse his behavior anymore because he's going through something a lot of people go through stuff i understand we all handle it differently but it's not an excuse right it's never an excuse it happens you have to deal with it in a healthy manner whichever way you see fit to handle that i suppose but you really just can't you can't excuse that kind of behavior anymore and he really just acts like a kid you know and and i i'm happy that that everyone else has finally woken up right tina as well like she's talking she's like i'm doing better now than i ever have she like you can see the passion in all of them right marcus sleeping there because he cares so much about his cakes and his pastries and he wants it to be good right and like tina even eve like everybody is picking up the slack everyone's got passion now because they can see themselves progressing moving forward how strong everything is well knit organized right like the place is looking better everyone is more organized stations are more clean stuff is getting done right so like everybody is feeling the progress and richie is kind of being left behind and i think he feels that he feels that he's being left behind and i mean it's really only because he just is not yet prepared to move on from what has happened right he's not prepared to to really just get down and work because you can tell even by the way when they first started when we showed up there they just shot the shit right like all the time it's what it was right they just shot the shit they didn't care it wasn't about being you know a well-respected high established restaurant or sandwich place it was just about you know friends being there it was just guys and and i mean tina as well but i mean like you know it was just like a bunch of people there who were friends and they were good 
you know, and they just shot the shit. It wasn't about the work ethic, right? And when Carmi came in, he's from a place where it's, you know, that's not what it was like. It's not about shooting the shit and what, like, there's a time and place for that, and it's a part of it. But, you know, he came from a very high class restaurant industry business, so like for them, it is really just it's nothing but work and professionalism, right? There's nothing to do with you're not sitting there having a conversation in the middle of cooking shit, right? It's not happening. I mean, at my place of work, it does happen, but again, it's different. <laughs> But mine's not as crazy as this shit, right? We get all our shit done. We just, we're all barely floating above water and we just talk about it to each other while shit is happening. It's not like this at all, thankfully. I, I don't think I'd be able to work there if it was like this, but there are definitely parts that are like that for sure. But um, yeah, Richie, I hope he can get his head on straight. I really do. I hope he gets his act together. Um, I really liked all the stuff between Sugar and Carm. I really love them together. They're great. They really are. And I'm glad they're, you know, working through their stuff together and talking it out. But you can tell just like, you know, Sugar is much more developed, more mature. I mean, she's the older sister, so it's kind of how it goes. You know, my sister's the same, right? And she just, she handles it differently. You know, she's in a healthier place. She's not living in the same place where they are in Chicago, right? There's no shooting happening where she's living, right? She's in the white picket fence kind of part with Pete, you know, having her own stuff. So for her, it's just, it's not the same. And she doesn't get what Carmi's going through, which I understand. But that's where the communication comes in, where Carm and Sugar need to communicate with each other better, which is what happened in this episode. So, you know, I'm happy with that. I'm glad. But yeah, this episode was great. I love everything about the show. I cannot wait to finish the season and then start the next season. You know, this is amazing. And I just actually heard recently that season three has been confirmed and is starting to shoot in 2024. So, you know, hopefully I'll get to watch that when it actually releases instead of years later. But, you know, better late than never. Better late than never. You know what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, that was great. I had a great time. I loved it. Let me know what you think. Leave a like, Patreon, all that jazz. I'll catch you on next time. Bye. Hey guys, thank you all for watching that recent video and I just want to give a special shout out to Oko Canutilla. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm really sorry if I'm not, but just want to give a special shout out to you. You've been subscribed to my tier one on Patreon for a while now and I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you so much for the support. Love you guys.